Hi friends, good morning to all. Welcome to our mathematics class. Grade 11, chapter number 1, sets. Listen. Already exercise number 1.1, 1 1.2 1 and 1.3 are completed. Today exercise number 1.4 and its concept, Venn diagrams. What is my mean by Venn diagram? Listen, and the most of relationship between sets, most of the relationship between sets can be represented by means of diagram which are known as Venn diagram. The relation between sets, the relation between sets can be represented by means of diagram, means of diagram. Okay, wa? So, relation between two sets can be represented means of diagram is called a Venn diagram. Listen. This is universal sets U. U mean universal set. Uh, universal set concept last class we teach about universal set. Universal set mean all union of all set is equal to universal sets uh, given uh, sets are all subsets of this universal sets okay, wow. so let us consider a b s set let us consider a b s set here universal set a uh, universal set is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this is a universal set and set A is 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. This is set A. Okay. So you know the universal set. The set A is subset of the universal set. The set A is subset of the universal set. Okay. Listen. Here Venn diagram. Denote the given set A is. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. The subset A. A is subset of universal set. So, universal set is always uh, represented as a rectangle shape. Okay, wow. And uh, subsets are all contained in the universal set. So, subsets are represented as circle. Represented as circle. So, the circle is not capital A. The set A. Okay, wow. Right. You know the set A has elements 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Here, elements of in A is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, wow. And remaining 1, 3, 5, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Lesson students, the set A is subset of universal set. Subset of universal set. So, universal set is contained in the set A. Okay, wa? So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 is always blanks to A and U. So, here common element 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. This is a Venn diagram of given sets. A. Here universal set is a set of all natural number less than or equal to 10. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, wa? This is called Venn diagram. Venn diagram. Okay, wa? Right. Next. Eh? One example. Listen. Take your insert the book, page number 14. Illustration 1. In a figure 1.2, universal set U is equal to 1, 2, 3, and so on, etc. This is a universal set. Same. Next, A is equal to 
operation answers. Uh, listen students, you know that basic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Okay, wow. the operations are used in two numbers, pair of numbers, number system only. Okay, wow. But here, the operation on sets, operations on sets. So sets are <coughs> some operations used for row. Listen, first operation, union of sets. Union of sets. Union of sets. Second one, intersection of sets. Intersection of sets. Third one, difference of sets. Difference of sets. Okay, Union of sets, intersection of sets, differences of sets. Okay, right. Listen. So, difference of sets and inter intersection of sets. First, union of sets. Listen, students. A union of set. The union of set definition is in let A and B any two sets. A and B are any two sets. Okay, right. The union of A and B is set is the set which consists of all the elements of A and B. A and B. The union of sets A and B which consists of all the elements of A and all the elements of B. The common elements being taking only ones. The common element taking only ones. The symbol U. Union symbol. This is union symbol. Union symbol. Okay, wow. So, listen students, let us consider a and B. A and B are two sets. Two sets. So A union B. Using the symbol, this is A union B. This is read as A union B. Union B. So union B, A union B be the set. A union B be the set which consists of all elements in A and all elements of B and common elements to get only one times only. Okay, wow. Common elements being taking only once. Okay, wow. Common elements one time at the both. Okay, wow. So the union mean union of two set A and B mean consists of all elements A and all elements of B. Here, the common elements being taking only ones. Okay, wow. so listen. Example, for example, let us take A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And B is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8. A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And B is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8. So, two sets. Let us consider the set A and B. Find A union B. So, uh, A union B. This is A union B. Union symbol. Okay, well. So, A union B. You know that A union B is uh, one set. So, set. This, this consists of all elements from A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, well. And all elements of B. 2, 4, 6, 8. Listen, friends, here 2 and 4 is common element. So, common element is taking only one side. Okay, wow. So, 2 and 4 is already blanks to the set A. So, 2, 4 is common element and remaining 6, 8. 6, 8. Listen, uh, common elements being taking only ones. 
very very important common elements being take in only one time so here 4 and 2 are common element so only one time 2 and 4 so remaining elements 1 2 3 4 5 from a and 4 and 2 is common element from a and b remaining 6 and 8 from b so this is a union b so a union b mean uh, consist of all elements from A and all elements from B. The common element is taking only one time. Okay, va? right. This is A union B. And one more example. And second example. Let A is equal to A, E, I, O, U. Okay, va? B is equal to B is equal to A, B, C, D. Then A union B is what is A union B? A union B. You know that A union B is one set consists of all elements from A, A, E, I, O, U, and all elements from B. Here A is common element. So a remaining element B, C, D. So this is A union B. So A union B is equal to A E I O U B C D. So therefore A union B is equal to or write A B C D E I O U. So this is A union B. Very very simple concept and important concept. Okay, wa? right. Next step. <coughs> Listen, and when diagram of the given set A union B, when diagram of given set A union B. So listen, A, this is A, this is B, A union B. So first question, here first question 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this question. Listen, this is A, this is B, and universal set, here universal set is considered as 1, 2, 3 and so on etc. Type universal set. Let us consider universal set is 1, 2, 3 and so on etc. Type. This is universal set. So first universal set. This is universal set. Okay. Ma? Right. Here A union B. A union. Generally A union B is mean uh, shadow the region A and B only. This is A union B. General concept. region A and B. Okay, Listen. For example, first question. This question and diagram is universal set U. First set A and second set B. A has five elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and B has four elements 2, 4, 6, 8. Listen. Here 2 and 4. 2 and 4 are common elements. So 2 and 4. Here this is 2 and 4. Common element. So intersect by the common element. So 2, 4. Remaining 1, 2, 1, 3, 5. 1, 1, 3, 5. Or blanks to A. And 6, 8. 6, 8. Or blanks to B. So remaining elements 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. So 7, 9, 10. So this is A union B. A union B. Okay, wa? So general concept A union B is shadowed the region A and B only. So this is A union B. Okay, wa? This one is A union B from the example number 1. Okay, wa? Right. Very, very simple concept. Okay, wa? Right. <coughs> Listen. See page number 15, definition number 6. Definition number 6. Let A and B are two sets. A and B are two sets. So union of these two sets A union B. Union of the two set A and B is set C, which consists of all those elements which are either A or B. 
either in A or B. That means including those which are in both, including those which are in both. In symbols we write A union B, A union B is equal to in set builder form X such that X is blanks to A, X is blanks to K or X is blanks to B or X is blanks to B. Listen students, see this diagram, listen, A union B Venn diagram, this is A union B Venn diagram, okay, wow. so A you said at the region A and B, okay, listen, this is A union B. Right, so A and B are two sets, then A union B is equal to X such that X is blanks to A or X is blanks to B. Listen, or and the union, union, so long, suppose R would so A or B, that means A or B, that means A or B mean A union B. A or B in Kurdana Sari. That's why A union B is not considered. Okay, wow. so A is blank, X is, that elements is blanks to A or element blanks to B. Anyone, that one is A or B or B. Or B or B. Okay, wow. at least anyone, at least that element is blanks to at least anyone set in A or B. So, A union B is equal to X such that X is blanks to A or X is blanks to B. X is blanks to A or x is blanks to b so union the symbol is union or the symbol mean r it is r a or b so a or b mean a union b nothing but a union b only okay wow. right some properties of operation of union First property, properties of union, operation union, listen, first one, A union B, A union B is equal to B union A, A union B is equal to B union A, this is commutative property. The property name, competitive property. Competitive law or competitive property. Right. Next, second one. A union B union C is equal to A union B union C. A union B union C. This is associative law. Associative. Associative law or associative property. Okay, of union. This is A union B equal to B union A. Is commutative property. Commutative property means interchange of A and B. Two sets are interchange. A union B is equal to B union K. Okay, wow. So, two sets of interchange when union at the same answer that I give other commutative property. So, commutative property is satisfied the operation union. So, union is, union is always satisfied the commutative property. So, A union B is equal to B union A and also satisfied the associative property. Union is always, so satisfied the associative property. So, associative property mean here two, three sets A, B and C are three sets. A union B union C is equal to A union B union C. This left hand side and right hand side always same. Then the associated property is true under the addition under the uh, operation union. So union is always satisfies the commutative property and associated property. And third one property law of identity or law of identity. Here identity element pi. So A union pi pi is null set. You know that pi mean null set. So, A union, any empty set is equal to A. A union, any empty set is equal to A. Or, 
you <coughs> empty set union a is equal to a okay va any set union empty set is equal to any set so let us consider the set any set is a so a union pi is equal to a and pi union a is equal to a this is identity law identity identity law of union here pi is a identity element pi is a identity element okay va next a union a this is i number law a union a is equal to a a union a is equal union of itself union of itself is equal to a this is i number law item button law next last one law of universal universal sets union of a a union of universal set and the set a is equal to universal set you know that the set a is subset of universal set subset of universal set so union of universal set and any set any subset of universal set is equal to universal here a is subset of universal set so union of universal set and a is equal to universal set okay this is a law of universal law of universal sets okay so the property very very important one mark like a union b equal to b union a completed law and a union b union c is equal to a union b union c this is isosity law and a union null set empty set is equal to a or empty set union a is equal to a this is identity law identity law and a union a the union of you know, union of itself is equal to a okay va itself equal itself so a union a so same set that the union edutala adhe set da kadaikum na common element taking only one time so here common element is all elements are common so taking one one time only one time that means a so a union a is equal to a and union of universal set and a is equal to universal sets okay va right next some examples of the given property a union b equal to b union a well is it Present friends, first one property A union B equal to B union A. Come to the property. Let's A equal to one two three. B equal to two. So one three. One three. So present friends, A union B is equal to. A union B is equal to one, two, three. Here one and three are common. Okay, ba? One, three, five. Let's go. One, three, five. So one, three, five. Here one and three common. So one and three take only once time. So one, two, three and five. So this is A union B. Here common element one and three. A two is blanks to A and five is blanks to B only. So one, two, three, five is A union B. Okay, ba? So all element one, two, three is blanks to this uh, set A union B, and one, three, five is blanks to this set A union B. This is A union B, and B union A. B union A. Listen, first B one, three, five. Union A. Here one and three is common element, remaining element two. So order wise. Right, our wise element one, two, three, five. Listen here. A union B is always equal to B union A. A union B has four elements one, two, three, five, and always same. B union A has the four elements one, two, three, five. So A union B therefore A union B is equal to B union A. A union B is equal to B union A. So complete property is true. Okay, ba? Right. Next, second one, associative property. Example of associative property. Next example.
Listen, second one, associative property. A union B union C is equal to A union B union C. Okay, wa? Let A is equal to 1, 2, 3 and B is equal to 1, 3, 5 and C is equal to 3, 5, 7 and 9. Okay, wa? Well, listen. So A union B, A union B, union of two set A and B. So 1, 2, 3 and 1, 3 is always blanks to A. So common element, remaining element 5. So 1, 2, 3, 5. This is A union B. And A union B, A union B, union C. This is A union B. This two set, union of these two sets. That means A union B and C. So A union B has 1, 2, 3, 5. 1, 2, 3, 5. Here 3 and 5 is always blanks to A union B. So 3 and 5 is common element. So taking only one time. So remaining element 7, 9. So 7, 9. So this is A union B union C. A union B union C. Okay, wa? Right. Equation number 1. Equation number 1. Next, A union, B union, C. So, first you find B union, C. So, B has uh, 3 elements, 1, 3, 5. And C has 4 elements, 3, 5, 7, 9. Listen. So, B has 3 elements, 1, 3, 5. Here, 3 and 5 are all common elements from A, B and C. So, 3 and 5. Take only one time. So, 1, 3, 5. Remaining elements, 7, 9. This is 7, 9. So this is B union C. B union C is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Right. So right hand side A union B union C. So A union B union C. You know that said A has 3 elements 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Listen here 1 and 3 is common element. B union C has 1 and 3. So A as well is 1 and 3. So 1 and 3 is a common element. A remaining element 5, 7, 9. So 5, 7, 9. Listen students, compare the two sets. This is equation number 2. A union B union C as elements 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 9. 6 elements. And the same element A union B union C as same 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 9. So, equation 1 and 2 are equal. Therefore, A union B union C equal to A union B union C. So, associative property is true. Associative property is true. Next, identity law. Listen. Example of identity property. So identity law. A union pi is equal to A or pi union A is equal to A. Okay, wa? So let us consider A is equal to 1, 2, 3. Empty set. Pi mean empty set. So, union of two set A and pi, A union pi is, is equal to all elements from A and all elements from pi, 1, 2, 3. Pi has 0 elements, so 1, 2, 3 only, so is equal to A. So, therefore, A union pi is equal to A, similarly same as pi union A is equal to A. This is identity law. Okay, so item button next item button fourth one item button a union a is equal to a this is item button law listen so a union a a union a so A union A, A has three elements, 1, 2, 3. And A union A, again A. So 1, 2, 3 is common element. Have take only, common elements take only one time. So 1, 2, 3. 
Okay, wow. so 1, 2, 3 common number, 1, 3 is equal to So 1, 2, 3 is, is equal to set A. So A union A is equal to A. This is A is equal to A. Okay, wow. next, fifth one. Universal law. Universal set union A. Universal set union A. Let us consider a universal set is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is universal set. A is equal to 1, 2, 3. Lesson students, here A is a subset of universal set. So universal set union A is equal to all elements in universal set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And all elements from A, but 1, 2, 3 is always belongs to the universal set. So, these elements 1, 2, 3 are common element. You know that the common element is taking only one time. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is a union of universal set and A is equal to universal sets. Okay, wow. so union of universal set and A is equal to universal set. Okay, wow. So, the property is very, very important. Right. Lesson friends. Next example number 12, 13, 14. Page number 14. Take an insert book. Page number 14. So listen, so question number 12, example number 12, let's say A has 2468 and B is equal to 6, 8, 10, 12, find A unit B. So very simple question, you know the A unit B as the set which is consists of all element from A and all element from B, here common elements as only taken only one time. So, here common element is 6 and 8 are common element, 6 and 8. So, A union B, example number 12, A union B. So, A has 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8 and B has 6, 8, 10, 12. Here 6 and 8 has common element. So common element taking only one time. So remaining element from B has 6, 10 and 12. This is A union B. This is A union B. Very, very simple question. So next, question number 13. Set A has A, E, I, O, U. And B has A, I, U. Here A, A, I, U is called common elements. Here A, I, U are all common element. Listen. Example number 13. A as A, E, I, O, U. And B, a set B as A, I, U. Okay, wow. listen. Show that A unit B is equal to A. A unit B is equal to A. Listen. A unit B is equal to A equal to A in proof for no? Listen. Here A as A, E, I, O, U. So A union B is equal to A, E, I, O, U. Listen. A, B as A, I, U. These three elements always blanks to the set A. So the, these three elements are common elements from A and B. So A and B common elements A, I, U. So common element one time at the bottom. So taking only once time. So A, I, U already write this this set. So A, E, I, O, U is as union of A and B. So A as A, E, I, O, U is called A. Okay, wow. So A union B is equal to A. So hence shown. Very simple question. Next 14th question. Let X equal to Ram, Gita, Akbar be the set of students of class 11 who are in school hockey team and let y is equal to Geeta, David, Ashok be the set of students from class 11 who are in the school football team. 
yeah, the set X is hockey team and set Y is football team. Listen, students, X equal to Ram, Geeta, Akbar. The set X has three students: Ram, Geeta, Akbar. And said Y has Geeta, David, Ashok. Here Geeta is common to both set A and B. Geeta is a blanks to a hockey team and also a football team. So the union of two set A X union Y. X union Y is equal to Ram, Geeta, Akbar, David, Ashok. Geeta, Akbar, David, Ashok. Here Geeta is common element. From X and Y. Okay, wow. Gita, hockey team player, football team player, so one time at the board. So X union Y is equal to Ram, Gita, Akbar, David, Ashok. The set of students from class 11 who are in the hockey team or football team or both. Okay, wow. So very simple question. Next step. X is number 1.4. X is number 1.4. So X is 1.4 has uh, 12 sums. A union base sums 1 to 5. So 1 to 4. Okay, wow. So X is some base in X class. Okay, okay, bye.